I let my feelings of being satiated prevent me from eating as much as I can. And I know when at certain points you need to push past that, even if it's a little bit uncomfortable. Um, so I'm just kind of a little bit uncomfortable at the minute, but I know it's needed. And over time, I think you can train yourself just like if you're trying to squat or pinch heavy, you get strong at it, right? And I think eating too, I think you can train yourself to eat more and more. And even still though, I remember, I remember times when I was off season trying to grow, I'd eat so much food, I'd be miserable. I'd take a bite, chew it up, get some water, swallow it, do another bite. That part of the process of being good at what you do is misery. So, you know, why do you deserve to win? You've got to do something uncomfortable. The weights, yeah, they're uncomfortable, but I can tell you now that eating is actually more uncomfortable than the hardest sets in the gym, in my opinion. Uh, just from like a, a living, like I said, you, you're miserable. And you live with that, you're like, oh God, I feel sluggish. But hey, do you want to fucking win or not? Like, if, if you're not eating that much, trust me, Samson's not eating that much. And then he's coming back from being beat by people like me and winning an Arnold. So now I'm going to eat double the amount to be able to kick his fucking ass. Yep. Yep. That's like a Thanksgiving plate. Eh? <laughs> oh, y'all don't do Thanksgiving over there. No, no, it's a shame, isn't it? Because Thanksgiving is quite nice because it's, it's typically like a um, roast dinner, isn't it? Yeah. But we do that every Sunday anyway. So we have Thanksgiving every Sunday. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to have a shake in the car with pre workout ingredients in it. That digest for about 35 minutes and then we train. What's this gym called? SS Lifestyle. So Saad has the gym. He's a good uh, friend of ours. Good supporters of Gasp and Bodies and uh, the whole uh, fitness community. So looking forward to change your life. down on training today so you obviously seen the footage may overlay some of this I don't know see what Nick and uh, Constantine do obviously we train chest similar fashion to I normally do in regards to like picking some straight sets and some heavy stuff so I started on the pec fly you saw I went pretty heavy on that but you'll notice like by set three I was doing like a drop set mm. so I'm just trying to basically smash the shit out of myself as quick as possible um, create a lot of tension create a lot of effort a lot of um, basically energy burn because now I'm eating a lot more and I'm drinking a lot more carbohydrates and stuff I've got a lot more fuel um, and I don't want to come out of the back end of the session feeling like I haven't used the fuel, so I'm trying to basically compress my sessions into being more intense. as heavy as you can a few sets like I normally do. I normally get 160 for round 10. It's always weird using another setup. I'll probably do, I'll probably get another, I'll get another blue aside, so I'll do one, 180. Yep. 
Easy. Come on, Jay. Push. Push. Come on. Come on with me now. Go in. Up. Push. The ball's quite uh, yeah. wobbler, isn't it? <laughs> when you're so used to your home bench, your home bar, and uh, like me and Jay noticed that this bar's got a bit of a twist on it. It's like Olympic lifting bar, so it's made for like if you're flicking, not so much pressing. Um, but it is what it is. Still do our best. See this bar? There's no knurling in the middle. Yeah. So it's more for deadlifts, so it's got a lot of feel that spin. So when you see my wrists on that set, quite a lot of wobble. So it's my fault really, because I should have set us up with a bar that's more um, friendly for pressing, but it'll do. When you got 180 kilos, or, what's that in pounds? Uh, four or five. Oh, when yeah. you got that in your hands and it's wobbling, it's fucking scary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It fucking scares me. <laughs> um, you don't realise how much power you lose. Though. No, it's because you're gripping, gripping and ripping. Your drive. This is why typically people can push more on the say Smith because you're just focusing on upwards drive. Obviously, stability is a big thing in bench pressing, but um, it's worth doing just because and then it helps you get stronger in general. Well, here's muscles that you stability muscles are. Nah. Even your ligaments. Again, I'll probably get less reps and then I'll do a set that's like light to finish. So I'll do four, yeah. and then I'll probably do a rest and then back off down to this and try and get some like good squeeze reps. Yes. Good. 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 Yes. Come on. Good. I might finish it. Squeeze. Good fucking set. Is that 12? That's PB. PB, what's it? That's what happens when you train with the shit. Get PBs, bro. Well, is that, I know I go a bit. That's is that good. all right? No, I like how you lock it in. You're locking it in very focused. You've got yeah. like a nice, you press like, like piston. you press like Compton used to, yeah. with quite a tight grip. Yeah. But you keep it in the range. Yeah. It's like kind of. Do I feel it? Don't yeah. matter. I feel it straight. Oh, okay. Good. Yep. <coughs> nice. Come on, Jay. Let's go. Push. Come on. Push. Push. Yep. Josh. Push. Yep. Good. Yes. Good. Yes. Strong. Strong. Yes, come on. Come on, let's go. Good. Yeah. Shit. 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 And then the thing that was different, which Nick was pointing out, was obviously there was a superset in there, which typically you don't really see me do. helping me with my uh, nutrition. Part of his kind of approach to training obviously is a lot more volume. Um, I'm not quite there yet, I'm not like Mr. Giant Set, it's not really my thing, but we've met in the middle and some supersets do appear in my workout. And I think they're good just for, you know, helping, sh you know, force a shitload of blood in there and just tax the muscle, especially after you've done the heavy stuff. Like mm -hmm. I said, the first two exercises in that workout were as heavy as I could go. And then by the time we got to that conversion press and that incline press, I was pretty smashed out and uh, just focusing purely on getting the blood in there then. Slow drops, three, two, three, eight, nine, ten, again, eleven, oh, one more minute, one more minute, come on. Oh. I want to finish this. Yes, it's slow again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Yeah, yeah, good.
This is uh, called Jay's fucked up superset <laughs> idea. <laughs> I'm only doing supersets because of me lost. I'm, I'm compromising. He wants giant sets, but I'm like, <laughs> fuck giant sets, so the superset. <laughs> Must admit, felt yeah. it. Do the same again. I find this really hard, like in a good way, if that makes sense. Because yeah. the conversion, it gets you a stretch. Yeah. And a squeeze. It, it, it opens you very wide at the beginning, and then at the end, it's very narrow. So, um, I think it's going all right. My weight's up. Um, I'm, you know, maybe 137, 136 kilograms. Uh, so, I've gone from about 275 pounds up to about. 300 in you know a couple of months so it's been pretty gradual and uh, really that's just implementation of a lot more protein um, and more carbohydrates around training so it's uh, if any of you know Milos's approach I haven't really got to explain it most of you know how he operates very very adamant about high intake around training of carbs and uh, you know amino acids so it's nothing new um, it's just nice to have something set in stone so I have to follow it and uh, it's, it's definitely working. I feel a bit sluggish, you know, we were just talking about, you're gonna feel that way when you're trying to consume more food. Mm. And ultimately, if you wanna have more muscle, it's the price you gotta pay. So things are going pretty good so far. The plan is March Arnold. So I've still got a bit of time just to try and pack on as much as I can. Um, and that's what you gotta remind yourself every day because you haven't got forever. So you're on kind of borrowed time. So I've got to say to myself, I've probably only got this much time left of trying to force it. So. Um, yeah, maybe a month or two left, two months, three months, I don't know how long. But I'll keep forcing until then, and then we'll hopefully be in a really good spot to diet down from. And then uh, I'm hoping to come back and compete against some of the best in the world. Like, I know I haven't really had an opportunity to stand next to any of them yet, because the Olympians haven't really gone how I would like. But I do believe if I get things right, then I will be standing next to those people, um, especially at the Arnold. And um, I have no, I have no, doubts that if I am my best that it's not a show I can't win so we'll see what happens time will tell and effort will tell Seriously.